After seeking re-election and winning the much-contested gubernatorial election in Lagos State, Governor Babajide Sonwolu took an oath of office for the second time, earmarking the beginning of a second-term administration. Taking the oath as the 15th Governor of the Center of Excellence alongside his deputy, Obafemi Hamzat, Governor Sonwolu says his second time coming will ensure that no one is left behind in the implementation of its policies and agenda. For the second term, Sonwulu says the Things Plus agenda will be the new developmental pillars for his administration. We will design all of our programs and policy to ensure that everyone is carried along and is catered for. This is our solemn promise to you, Lagosia. Still riding on the great achievements of the first term in traffic management and transportation, health and environment, education and technology, making Lagos a 21st century economy, entertainment and tourism, as well as security and governance, the Songulu administration has begun to make indelible marks even in the first year of its second term. Managing the economic challenges that came with the fuel subsidy removal, Governor Songwulu and his team swung into action with designing a number of initiatives and palliatives that can help cushion the effect and hardship Nigerians are going through. First off, the governor asked that 50% rebate be given on all public transportation, be it road, rail and water, free delivery at government-owned hospitals and rearranging work schedules for civil servants to a Accommodate more work from home days, amongst others. In order to upscale the intermodal transportation drive of the Sonwulu administration, President Bola Tinobu was in Lagos to officially commission what is the judge the first rail project to be conceived and completed by a single administration, the Red Rail Line. The first phase of the Red Line, which runs from Agbado to Marina, with iconic stations in Agege, Iju, Ikeja, Oshodi, Mushi, amongst others as part of the strategic plan to boost Lagos to Nigeria's economy, plus enhancing transmodal connectivity in Lagos. At the commissioning, Governor Babajide Sonwolu also revealed that preliminary works have begun for the green and purple lines as well as the orange and yellow lines. In the first year of the second term, the governor met with a number of investors, country and government representatives across the world, plus official visits of federal government and international national agencies to the man handling the affairs and steering the ship of one of the fastest growing economy in Africa. The visitors include, but not limited to the U.S. consular, the Antigua Prime Minister, National Assembly members, religious leaders, the Duke and Duchess of Sussex, Prince Harry and Meghan Merkel, the first Nigerian to travel by road from London to Lagos, Palumi Nubi, who was also named the Lagos Ambassador, amongst others, to further cushion the effects of the economic crunch on the people. Governor Sonwolu inaugurated the Dispensation Palliatives Committee, Onjeiko, and Sonwolu Cares, which is seen to the distribution of food packages to households in all 57 local governments and council development areas, not forgetting a number of memoranda of understanding with Niger State to facilitate constant supply of agricultural consumables and with Harvest Waste, a Dutch company in Netherlands that will help generate Generate electricity through waste to wealth. And the objective is to, for us to be able to ensure that food is not one of the issues that we continue to challenge the vulnerable in our society. That government must be able to show up and show up well to all of you and to be able to support you at this difficult time. Governor Sowulu also played host to a number of international conferences, including the Africa Game Expo. Sadly, during the year under review, the governor commiserated with market men and women who lost their goods in an inferno that consumed part of the Dosumu market. Also, one of the most trusted aides of Mr. Governor passed on, his deputy chief of staff, Adeboye Gashonyangu, at the age of 55. It's just the first year of the second term tenure of Babajide Ulushala Sonwolu as governor of the Center of Excellence, the land of aquatic splendor, Lagos State. Despite the topsy-turvy economic situation in the country, there's been remarkable efforts at cushioning the effect on the citizens. Hopefully, in the coming years, the Goshians will have much more to benefit 
on the Sawolu administration's Things Plus agenda. Fingers crossed. Adetola Kayode, LTV News.